Hey guys, it's Scott here and welcome to a full in-depth explanation as to what Squad Battles is, how it works and everything that you need to know about the new game mode in FIFA Ultimate Team for FIFA 18. So if this does help you out and you do find it informative then please do help us out and support the video by hitting the thumbs up. If you've got any other questions please don't hesitate to put them in the comment section and either myself or someone else can hopefully answer your question. But the aim of this video is to explain what the game mode is, how it works, all the little tiny details that you may need to know, how the structure of all the games is set out, etc, etc. So let's get into it and hopefully I can explain everything you need to know about Squad Battles in FIFA 18. So first things first, what is it? Well, it's a brand new game mode that has been introduced for the first time this year, and it's basically an offline version of Foot Champions, if you are familiar with that. You get a set amount of games per week, and by playing these games you acquire points. The more points you get, the higher the rank you finish, the better rewards you get. It's a very, very simple concept. There are 45 games in total spread out over an entire week, and they are structured as follows. So over this side of me, you will be able to see it on the screen, but let's go through it anyway. You have got four games each day, starting on Monday through Friday. Uh, then you've got 12 games a day on Saturday and Sunday, but these are in different time slots. And then you've got a featured squad, which is available to play at any time throughout the week, adding up to a total of 45 games. So at the point that I'm recording this video, the time slots are as follows. For the weekdays, it's between 1am and 1am. So as soon as Monday 1am hits, that's the start of a new Squad Battles week, through to Tuesday, then it's the next day. Then on Saturdays and Sundays, you've got three different time slots, each having four games each. These are Saturday from 1am to 9am, 9am to 5pm, 5pm to 1am. And then once the week is over, at 1am on Monday each week, that is when the rewards will be released, about five minutes afterwards. So you can carry over games, but only for one turn. So you can carry over your Monday games to Tuesday, you can carry over your Tuesday games to Wednesday, but if you try and carry your Monday games over to Wednesday, you can do that, but you're going to miss out on your Tuesday games. So you've got to get on at least every other day, make sure you refresh your teams, and make sure you can play all of those games. So now that that is understood, let's get into how you access squad battles, how it works, etc, etc. So Squad Battles is accessed by going to the single player tab in Ultimate Team and here you can see a little bit of information regarding your current rank, the amount of points you've got, the amount of games you've got remaining in that certain day and how long until the next day. There are four main tabs within Squad Battles, the Featured Squad, which shows off the Featured Squad for that week, you've got Opponent Select where you can see your four games for that time slot, then you've got Your Rank where you can see your rank, your points total, the rewards that you're going to get and the points required to get each rank. Uh, and what rewards you will get, and also top 100, obviously showing the top 100 leaderboard. So this is where you're going to spend the most time in your squad battles. You can also see the time remaining for that set of games on the right hand side, and at the top right you can see the total for your points and how long for the rest of the week. So let's go through each of these in a little bit more detail. The featured squad is something that is available to play throughout the entire week. You don't have to play it in a specific time slot. Now, the points work differently for this than it does for the other game modes, but we'll get into that in a little bit. So, the Featured Squad is a squad built by either someone from the FIFA community, whether it be someone like Castro, who is a streamer, or it could be a celebrity or a professional footballer. So, we've had people like Deli Ali, and their squad has been the Featured one. This week, it is Castro, who is a streamer on Twitch. As you can see, it says points available 1900. I normally play on Legendary, so that's what it says for me. Now for the featured squad, this is pretty much guaranteed points if you win. This is the amount of points that you will get. So on beginner you'll get 1500, whereas in other game modes or other games within squad battles you're going to get a lot less. So if you need a guaranteed set of points, this tells you exactly what you are going to get if you win this game on whatever difficulty. And you can see how the difficulty changes um, through the breakdown on the right hand side, how it will affect the gameplay of the CPU that you are playing against. But if you just need that little bit of boost to your points total for squad battles for the week, the featured squad can be a very, very good way to get there. It's a bit of fun playing against someone's cool little team or someone's mega team like Castro's, and you get a good amount of points. Next, you move on to the main section, which is your opponent select. So these are the four games that you get each day or through each time period. And you can see again, top right, it tells you how long until the next refresh of opponents. 
If you have got games that you've got left over, then you can play them, and then as long as you press your right trigger, then you will refresh to the new guys if they are, are if they are available if you've moved into the next time slot. So four games, the first two are generally easier, they don't have 100 chemistry, or they have a much lower rating. If you flick up on the right stick, you can see their formations, their custom tactics, and if you press Y or triangle, then you can see the squad that you're going to be playing against, and figure out if you need to change your formation or anything like that. See what subs they're going to bring on, because it's a computer, they always make subs. So for example, Griezmann would get subbed on in this one, just because that's how it works. And so the further you go to the right, the more difficult the gamers get. And so the more points that are available, but it is going to be harder for you to actually get that victory. So some people play the first games on harder difficulties and drop it down for the third and fourth but it's completely up to you. The squads are going to get more difficult as you move along to the right-hand side. For example, this one's got Mane and Kane Player of the Month, whereas the first one was for bronze players. So, four games within each time slot, and you want to try and maximise the points you can get on each one. So, for example, the first one, the easiest one, this is what I mean about how different the featured squad is. On that, you get 1,500 points for playing on beginner. On your opponent select screen, I wouldn't advise going below semi-pro because you just get such a tiny amount of points. Now, this is projected. This isn't exactly what you're going to get. I don't know what scoreline this is based on, maybe a 1-0 or a 2-1, but if you win 5-0, you're going to get way more points than this projects. So, for example, Legendary, that says I'll get about 1.9k if I win. If I actually won 5-0, I'd get more like 2.7k. So in the next tab, you've got your rank. Now, this is obviously where you can see how many points you've got. This also on your screen right now is last week's final totals for the rank. So hopefully you can divide this by 45, see how many points you need to average per game in order to get the rank that you want. For example, Elite 1, maybe it's 75k divided by 45, you can understand how many points you need. You can also see all of the rewards that you get for every single rank as well, so hopefully this answers all of the questions for that. Maybe they will update in the future. There was one week where we got a kit alongside the rewards, no matter what rank you finished as well, so understand that it could potentially change. Then you've got the top 100 leaderboard as well, obviously showing the top 100 players, and these are the amount of points that you needed last week to get in top 100. Obviously this can change from week to week, and the rankings are scaled. So you may play five days out of seven, and then you'll drop down because it's the average amount of points. For example, Elite One, the top 1% of all players, that's how many points they have. So if everyone plays their games and you don't, you're going to drop down rankings. So you need to make sure you keep playing. Okay, so hopefully that makes it clear. Let's get into the points breakdown per game. So for this example, I'm going to be playing against this Apollo 11 team. You can see my previous two games here where I got nearly 2,200 points and then I got over 2,500 points by winning 4-1 and 5-1 respectively. And you can see that the projected points that we're going to get for this Apollo 11 is less than 2,000. So I've just proven to you with the pr two previous results, if you play well and you get a good amount of goals and perform just in a good way in order to maximize your points, you can get way more than the projection. So the team that we're gonna be coming up against is this one right here. I'm gonna see how well I can do and show you how to maximize points and do things in the game that will help you get as high a rank as possible. So in this game against that Apollo 11 team, you see that I won 3-0. That's pretty good against legendary computer. To keep a clean sheet and to get a few goals is nice. I'm going to get an okay amount of points here, probably over 2,000. So this is a vital screen. We'll revisit this in just a minute so that I can break it down for you. This is where you are going to get your points, okay? That breakdown at the top is where everything is explained and what you can minimize and maximize in order to gain the most points and stop conceding points, etc., etc. And then that is joined in with some other things on this screen, with your results, with the amount of goals you've scored in total, your difficulty bonus, and the match complete bonus. And this all combines to give you your points total, which in this game I got 2,222. What a beautiful number. And you can also see in the bottom right, it tells you how many points you have and how close you are to the next rank and the points required. Remember that these roll up. So if I get loads and loads of points and everybody else that's playing gets loads of points, the number of points required to get each rank is going to go up, so you need to keep playing. And then if you go up a rank, it will tell you in beautiful little celebration. Squad battle progress, rank gained, elite three. But let's go back to this. This is the vital screen. So, we're going to break this down. The most important thing is to notice the breakdown at the top and the skill rewards in the bottom left. I got less than 400 here, so I could do a lot better. 
But let's go through each one. Goals. You get 20 points. No, you get 40 points per goal. Okay? And these maximize at five goals. So there's no point scoring more than five. Fouls. You lose five points for every foul that you concede. You get 15 points if you get man of the match on your team. Pass accuracy is maxed out at 80%. And you'll get 80 points for that. Possession is 60 as the cap. Successful tackles, you get uh, points for every successful tackle. Not sure what the maximum is for some of these. Corners, you get five points for every one. Shots on target, you get five points for every one. That maximizes at 50 points, so 10 shots on target. Cards, you lose points if you concede any yellow or red cards. Goals against and the clean sheet are the big one. So offsides, you lose, obviously, a little bit if you get offside as well. But goals against, you lose 20 points for every goal you concede. And clean sheet, you lose the 75 bonus points if you concede a goal. So you really want that clean sheet. It is vital. And all of these are added up and calculated into that skill rewards at the bottom left. So you need to make sure that you try and maximize things. So first things first, five goals is the best that you can do. That's what you gotta focus on first. Second, you want that clean sheet, okay? If you can get that, that is huge. Then you wanna maximize your pass accuracy and possession to the 80 and 60, that would be awesome. You want your 10 shots on target to get the 50 points in that one. And then if you can get corners and things like that, maybe successful tackles, that'd be a bonus on top of it. But those are the hierarchy of things that you need to focus on and try and maximize the points. And also try not to be offside or foul people or get any yellow cards. And most importantly, again, just try not to concede. So then how is this broken down in the next screen? Let's have a look, shall we? So in the Squad Battle Progress screen, this is where you figure out how many points you've got. And you can see that skill bonus right in the middle, that is the rewards from that previous screen. So that is how this number is calculated. Then you've got your match result. 200 points for a win, simple as that. You get 50 if you lose the game. Match complete, we still don't know exactly how this is calculated. It's believed to be because of the team chemistry that you're against as well as the rating and also the difficulty that you're on. So it could be as low as like 230 if you're on a lower difficulty. Ultimate, it can push over 300 points. So that's how that one works. And then you've got your goals. So the goals depends on your difficulty, okay? So semi-pro, you can get a maximum of 200 points because you get less points per goal. You get 40 per goal on semi-pro, 60 on professional, 100 on world class, 140 on legendary, and 160 on ultimate. So you want to get five goals on the highest difficulty possible because that's where it maxes out. There's no point beating semi-pro 15 nil. You may as well try and win five nil on professional or world class because you'll get more points. You're wasting your goals. Then your difficulty bonus obviously depends on the difficulty. This goes down massively if you lose, so you need to win to get as many points as possible. If you lose on Legendary, you're not going to get over a thousand points, really. So, uh, the skill bonus, or difficulty bonus, is 0.5 on Beginner, 0.6 on Amateur, 0.7 on Semi-Pro, 1 on Professional, 1.6 on World Class, 2.1 on Legendary, and 2.6 on Ultimate. So the higher the, the difficulty, you see how much it jumps up. It is huge. So you want to play on the difficulty that you feel comfortable scoring a few goals, hopefully keeping a clean sheet on as well. And so how is the total points calculated? It's very simple. All you need to do is add up your skill points, your match results, and your match complete, and then times that by your difficulty bonus. So 362 plus 200 plus 296 times all of that together by 2.1 for me and then on top of that you add your goals so i got my three goals in this game i got 420 points i add that onto my total i get 2222 as my total for this game winning 3-0 against the legendary so ideally you want to win 5-0 get a load of shots on target get a load of corners successful tackles high possession high pass accuracy and you're going to maximize the amount of points you can get so you could figure it out by watching this video, breaking everything down, writing down what is literally the maximum amount of points you can get each difficulty. I don't believe there is a table of that just yet, but you could figure it out. But if you're playing on Legendary, roughly the most that you're going to get is 2.7 to 2.8k if you win 5-0. And then it scales down, obviously, as you go down the difficulties. So let me show you another example of another game before we end this, and then I'll quickly recap everything, and hopefully this explains squad battles for you. If you've got any other questions, put them in the comments below, but let's move on to that second example. 
So here we go to end this off. Let me show you the fourth game in that set where I actually won 6-0 against the fourth team. Pretty much granting me the best possible points that I could get. I could have min and maxed a few more things. For example, you can see on my skill rewards here, whilst I got the five guards, I got the clean sheet, etc. Had a few successful tackles. Possession could have been a bit better. Pass accuracy was good. I didn't concede any fouls or offsides, which is great, but I didn't really get any corners. Shots on target, I could have got what more. So you can see how you can maximize this and make it just that a little bit better than what I got. But 476 as skill rewards is great. And that's pretty much the maximum. Like 500, realistically, unless you perfectly do everything, is really sort of the maximum that you're gonna get for legendary. So move this onto the skill rewards page and you can see the effect that this has had on the points because we've gone up to 2,758. The match complete bonus is higher than before because it was a team with a higher rating, full chemistry, etc., compared to the one before. So over 300 for that. Match result we won, again, 200 points. Skill bonus 476 times all of those together by 2.1 and you get 2,058, and then you add on the five goals that I got, 140 for each one on Legendary, like I described before, 700 in total for that, got us 2,758 for a game on Legendary. Again, I've got between 2.7 2.8k as a 5 nil sort of standard for Legendary, which is pretty nice. So you can try and figure it out if you bump it down each difficulty by using all of the stats that I've given you, the numbers that you need, and hopefully this is going to help you out. Remember that I am going to leave a link to Nepenthes' uh, uh, text description of pretty much most of the things I've gone over. I think he's covered basically all of this. Maybe he's missed a few things out that I've talked about or vice versa. I'm not sure, but that will be in the description. So remember, four games each day, Monday to Friday, 12 on Saturday, 12 on Sunday. You can carry over games for one turn. You want to play ideally on the highest difficulty possible, get the most points, focus on those things in order that I told you, goals, clean sheet, possession, shots on time, those kind of things, right? And you've got a future squad once a week that will get you guaranteed points. So the squads are chosen randomly, you get just whatever is given to you each day. You get your rewards at Mondays at 1am as it stands when I'm recording this video. When clocks go back in UK time, that will... I assume go back to 12 o'clock for the rewards midnight each day but we're gonna have to wait and see so if you've got any more questions you want to ask about squad battles put them in the comment section down below I'll do my best to respond to you as well as other people help each other if you know answers to questions if you want to see me do any more videos like this where we go in depth with game modes or things in the game that you would like to understand then please let me know also suggest those in the comments but that's gonna be it for squad battles hopefully this is informative for you if you did find it helpful Please hit the thumbs up, subscribe if you want to see daily streams, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.